Mic check one, two. Hey, yo, let me go ahead and tell you right out the gate. This track right here has got a lot of pressure to live up to. Let me tell you why. Roll it. Jack Harlow on the, on the Freshman Project probably had what one would consider an overnight success type situation. What's poppin' blew the fuck up. What's poppin' blew up and he has maintained that course for the last, what, two years since What's Poppin' came out? There is a lot going on in this man's life in terms of his, in terms of how he got to the stardom that he's at. And the second, the second album, the sophomore album, this is what separates the boys from the men, generally speaking. The sophomore album is notoriously known as the album where you're like, okay, were, were you a fluke in, in success and you cannot maintain that success? Or are you really about the shits? If what's popping and his first project was the college dropout for him, can he follow it up with a late registration? If the first project was the Slim Shady LP for him, can he follow it up with a Marshall Mathers LP? And our first clue as to whether or not he can is going to be the first single, the lead single off a of sophomore project. Not only is it a lead single with that pressure because of the single before, the boy done teased this hoe on Twitter and it has the Fergie sample. That's already putting more pressure. And on top of that, are people going to be like, I don't know. The Fergie sample seems kind of like a cheat code. Now he has to deliver even further because of the Fergie sample. So there's a lot riding on this right now, yo. When I heard the Fergie sample, that was my first thought was like, all right, the beat goes kind of dumb, but is the sample going to save the song or is the song going to be able to live up to the sample? Only one way to find out, yo. Follow your boy Instagram, Twitter. Most importantly, hit up Twitch. Normally, we do New Music Friday where we go through all new music. We go through albums, yada, 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 and see what we like, what we don't. It's all a live experience. You're talking to me. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all are talking amongst each other. It's a vibe, bro. I promise if you like the channel, you'll like the live stream even more. No one goes over there and says that they hate it. Any Everybody says that they fuck with it more than they fuck with the channel. But other than that... Really ain't too much to say. We just got to see if this boy's got it. By the way, <laughs> this dude, he, he's fucking, he commented under my video for what's popping. I didn't even know. And all he said was, I enjoyed this. <laughs> That's such a jack heart. Like no fucking, no emotion, no nothing. Just, I enjoyed this, period. Only Jack, you know, only Jack. First class, let's get it. Mm. I've been a... Throw up the sex in a uh -huh. And I can put you in Before we move forward, if you see a reactor anytime within the weekend that says gets up out of their chair because the fucking sample and goes and does some dumb shit, I'm willing to bet money that they're not fucking being honest with y'all. Unless they don't follow, unless they're not on Twitter or if they don't follow Jack Harlow, which I'm assuming they do because he's Jack Harlow. We done heard this sample already. We done heard it. See the whole city from this balcony. Back in 2019, I was outside freely, but now they got it out for me. Y'all think that that's the eagle screech from Assassin's Creed? Is he that much? Did you, th you think he's a nerd like that, or is that just me? That that I'm a fucking nerd like that. I was outside freely, but now they got it out for me. Hey. I don't care what frat that you was in, you can't out for me. Keep drinking Ooh. pineapple juice. I give a sweet, sweet, sweet semen. I know what they like, so I just keep cheesing. Hard drive full of. Oh, fucking Jack, you motherfucker. You ever hear Kanye spit a bar and then you're like, <laughs> only fucking Kanye, you know, like Kanye says some dumb shit that only Kanye could get away with saying. And you're like, that's heat. That's what Jack Harlow just did with this fucking semen pineapple line. Ain't nobody else getting away with talking about eating and drinking, drinking fucking pineapple juice. So the semen tastes sweeter for her. Why do I feel like that's a suburban legend? That's something that goes around like the middle upper class white neighborhoods. Only Jack Harlow's pulling it off, bro. And it's only because of his charisma. It's because of the like, like the smoothness, the swagginess, the like very chill confidence. You know what I'm saying? Very like just the humor that's within who he is as his personality. That joke is that that bar is only good 
because we know he's saying it as a joke, like jokey, like I can't believe I said, like I'm saying this type bar. That's Jack Harlow's version of Kanye's I love your titties because it proves I can focus on two things at once. Pineapple juice, I give a sweet, sweet, sweet scene. I know what they like, so I just keep cheesing. Hard drive full of hey. heat seeking. Hey. Trying to come the same day as Jack rethinking. You don't mm. need Givenchy, you need Jesus. Why do y'all sleep on me? I need your reasons. Stop fucking around with these labels. Get your life in order. You care more about the fucking angles than you do the angels. Shout out Drizzy Drake. Shout out Aubrey. The heat, the heat seeking missile shit was fire though. Like he's got ammunition and a hard drive full of heaters. I got plaques in the mail peak season. Who's sleeping Shout on Jack Harlow? Yes, workers make a sure I receive it. You could do it too, believe it. I've been a throw up the sex in a. This whole about it be spun in every single UPS till the end of time. Who the fuck shouts out UPS? The song is smooth, bro. You know. I feel like this song is not going to get anywhere near the amount of love or people are going to be like on the fence about it because one it's really like the pacing of the track is very slow. It's very smooth. Obviously the beat has like hi hats to like keep the tempo up, but like his delivery is really smooth. There's a lot of pauses in his delivery. It's very just like he's talking when, when you listen to what's popping, it sounds more like he's rapping, rapping versus this is almost like a, like a swaggy talk almost. They're both good lead singles for their own individual reasons, which I'll talk about at the end of the song, at the end of the, at the end of the video. Oh, Allergies going oh, crazy. And Shout out Paula. Oh, I can put you in. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am. They say you a superstar now, damn. I guess I am. You might be the man, well, that's unless I am. Okay, uh, I'm as I am. Go ahead and get undressed, I am. Okay, cool. You on sunset? I am. Ooh. I'm about to slide, okay. I'm outside, okay. This life's that delivery right there, starting it with Yes, I am. Like starting the like starting the starting the verse out like off beat, like on the beat before. That's crazy, bro. That's like super unorthodox delivery, but it's very conversational, you know? I'm about to slide, okay. I'm outside, okay. This lifestyle don't got many downsides. Except for the lack of time, I get round my family. Making sure they never Ooh. downsize. I got visions of my mom saying, wait, this house is mine. Can't lie, I'm on Angus Cloud. I got visions of my mom being like, oh shit, this crib belongs to me? My boy done made it. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't realize that often, especially if somebody is family oriented, you know, but it was a bar though, when he's like making sure that they never downsize, like on top of, on top of making sure that my family stays together. And like, I'm the glue now that holds the family together, making sure nobody goes their separate ways and downsizes like the, the circle, the inner circle. Also, when people move out of the house, when they become empty nesters, they normally like get a smaller house because they don't need such a large space. But he's like, nah, I'm taking her to the next level in size. As a family person, I'm like, I get it, you know? Visions of my mom saying, wait, this house is mine. Can't lie, I'm on Angus Cloud 9. I got him on a bandwagon now, about time. I ain't even got no downtime. Every time I speak, she say, yeah, that sounds fine. I've been a throw up the sex in a. It's so smooth, bro. It's so smooth. I can put you in. I've been a throw up the sex in a song's almost over. I will say there's a lot of there's a lot of hook in this song. They're trying to get their money's worth with the hook for sure. Well, however much the sample costs, they're like, run that hoe back. And I can put you in. nice bro it's nice all right yo let me tell you what i think about this right here it's gonna unfairly not even unfairly it's just the way that the world works and the way that the critical mind works they're gonna be like does he got it it's his second sophomore album they're gonna listen to this song as a single they're gonna be like it sounds good but it's not at the level of what's popping sonically hyped wise it's probably not gonna get in as much play as what's popping what's popping is like a once in a fucking lifetime for the artist size single i keep on saying lead single but it's not the lead single but anyway it's an important song right here because a lot of artists i feel like they would go and listen to what's popping they'd get their major success and then on the second track or on the second album they try to recreate that success with the same exact sound it's something that plagued him and him in his first three albums because like his albums are super duper harsh like lyrically there's not really anything that could be played on the radio and the label was making him like Okay, we saw the smash hit of, of Slim Shady LP. 
we need that for this album, Marshall Mathers. And then again, they needed it for Eminem's show. So you're trying to force someone into the success of their very first breakout song, which is, you're, it's, it's almost like you're never going to get that lightning in a bottle twice situation. But I think this song is just as good for the reason that it's simply Jack Harlow, you know? Like everything I said at the beginning of this video is 100% true in terms of the pressure on the song from a sophomore album and you're using Fergie's feature, which is a, people are going to say that it's a crutch. It's like an aid. It's a, it's a cheat code. But the fact that he kept it really chill, he kept it really smooth, confident. Like I feel like, I feel like that's admirable for Jack Harlow because it would be super easy to get caught up in the pressure of a sophomore album and try to recreate another What's Poppin' Part 2. I prefer this because the sophomore album is the one where we figure out who he is as a person, as an artist, after he's settled in, after the dust has settled from all the like basically overnight success that has happened from his first project. So I personally like the song. I wasn't sure about the hook. I didn't know if I was, I didn't know if it was gonna be gimmicky, but the hook fits in with like the vibe of the of the of the choruses. Not of the choruses. They fit in with the vibe of the verses. The song is relatively short at two minutes and 53 seconds. It's a solid effort, yo. It's a solid effort. I'm super excited for the project. I don't know when it comes out. Did he say sometime in May? But yeah, this track right here is unapologetically Jack Harlow. Jack, it's a W, my guy.